Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Look who's back. Abby! Are we so excited that she's back? I'm not gonna make a lot of exciting noises because she's gonna want to jump in my chair and <laughs> we don't want that right now. I love you. Anyways, um, today I have a really awesome subject that I wanted to talk to you about. I'm super excited right now because I just had a, an interview for a podcast that I'm <sighs> I'm finally getting out there and daring to do what I want to do and to be myself and embracing my gift and sharing it with you guys. So I'm so excited to start seeing the rewards and seeing the progress and I'll let you guys know about it at a later time when it comes out. But today I have a subject, boundaries. How many of us struggle setting boundaries? Just raise your hand, click the like button if you do agree, put a hand emoji. Do you struggle with setting boundaries? I do. I have a hard time setting boundaries with everyone. I don't wanna make people angry. I don't wanna piss people off. And I don't wanna come off as too difficult, which leads to me getting stepped all over. <laughs> most of the time not everyone not all the time not everyone but most of the time or like avoiding tough conversations that we know we need to have and by the time we have them we have them we're already so fed up because we bottled everything down and we just explode it happened to me I'm guilty of that so today I want to give you the tips to set boundaries and my tip number one know what that boundary is you need to know what is it for you. What might affect me might not affect you and what bothers you might not bother me. So you need to be very clear what those boundaries are, especially in relationships, because our partner might not know that's a boundary that he's crossing or she's crossing if we don't tell them. So the first rule is write down, sit down, or even right now, think about it. What is it? What is your boundary? What don't you like? What you do like? What do you require in a relationship? and be willing to address it. So tip number two is be willing to communicate it, express it. If, if we don't say how we feel, how are they gonna know? They're not mind readers. We oftentimes get so mad and so hurt on our own head because we imagine this thing and get so disappointed that that person didn't do it or we get so sad that that person did do something and it's like, well, he didn't know he was crossing a boundary. So you have to, what you have to do to communicate the boundary also, you need to be very careful when we communicate something. We don't want to come up as needy or aggressive because the other person is human too. So the first thing you need to do to communicate the boundary is address it in a way that is not attacking that person's character, that is not attacking that person say hey i feel like this always put a feel statement because it's about you it's about how you are feeling and what you are making up about the situation so say i feel i feel hurt when you call me names which should be <laughs> obvious but i don't know i feel sad when you don't call me when you get home i feel worried anything 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 do it and here's the thing, the, the best thing to do would be do it before it happens, but the second best time to do it is when it happens. As soon as it happens the first time, say, hey, I don't really like this. Can you please stop? It makes me feel like this. Okay, that person, if that person loves you, they will accept your boundary. They will respect your boundary. So communicate it. And tip number three, once you communicated the boundary, if it happens, one time you say the boundary hey i don't like this stop it if it happens a second time say hey i already told you and i don't really like this if it keeps happening this is a consequence there has to be a consequence there has to be a consequence because if you just put the boundary and say i don't like this they keep doing it hey i don't like this they keep doing how nothing happens they will keep stepping all over you because you don't do anything. You don't actually take the action and you're not willing to put the consequence in place. So be willing to 
be willing to walk away. Be willing to, uh, to implement that consequence. Be willing to do it. Because if you're bluffing, you can tell. I can tell you all the time, like, I'm gonna leave. After the third time, that person's gonna be like, yeah, that bitch is not gonna go anywhere. Because you're not willing to do it. So have a, a plan and be willing to do it. So these are the tips. Quick, concise, I like it because it works and you can implement it right away. Also, I'm working on a program, a little something something, to create the relationship you want, to create the life you want, specifically in relationships. So I will have it together soon. And I hope you liked it. I hope you like these videos. I want to give you more content and more um more value for watching me so keep on watching if you like relationships i want to know more about you what do you like to hear about do you like to hear my tips about relationships do you like to hear my tips about your career about your dreams about manifesting what is it that you want to hear more about give it a thumbs up if you like this video leave a comment so i know you're watching and consider subscribing to my channel if you like this type of videos because i want you to be able to get notified whenever I put up a new video. I put videos every Tuesdays and Saturdays and I hope you like it. I hope you have a good week. I hope you have a good life and a good relationship and I will see you on my next video.